Hi, I'm Dr. Jeffrey Lyman. In this video, we'll be going through some of the products that we like to use to help patients recover from hip and knee replacement surgery. The vasculotherm machine is a dual purpose piece of equipment that on one hand applies pneumatic compression to the calf and helps prevent blood clots from forming. And on the other hand, it has a internally cooled device that once it's plugged in, will apply thermal therapy to the leg without having to add ice or do anything else. Now we're on to a vasculotherm. So this machine is prescribed to you. It's two in one system. So it's cold therapy on top of a DVT therapy. DVT is basically our, um, we're warding against uh, blood clots. So it's very, very important piece of equipment. So when it comes out, here are your power cord and your hose. Each machine will end up with a pack of DVT calf pads in a cold therapy wrap. The machine itself will come out of the bag. We need to make sure there's airflow on both sides, so it needs to come out of the bag. And it has an extra mixture of the rubbing alcohol and water to run this machine. First thing, if you're looking at the machine, to the left is the DVT setup, to the right is the cold therapy. Two separate units, okay? We're gonna be plugging in DVT wraps here, and then we put the three hoses here, collect going into that cold bag, uh, cold wrap. To do so, I always start, go right to left on this one. There are three hoses, two clear, one gray. I'm gonna gently put them into the machine. One. It's always a tough one if I don't have these done. Two and three. Okay, yeah, these need to be able to snap in. Okay, then at the other end, you're going to have three more here. I have a cold pad out to show you. Now, what's happening is this gray one has been filling this up with too much air, so we're gonna intermittently use that. Um, so first, we're going to, uh, same as we did here, we're going to push in, click, push in, click. To be able to get out of these, I'll show you because these are hard to see. It's the same system at the, t at the base of this machine and the hose. This silver is a button, so you're going to push that down. It will release and it comes out. So gingerly, when you're doing these up here, these snaps, just gingerly push down and then pull out. If we pull out too quickly without it being pushed and unclasped, this part right here will actually end up into the machine and it will become a watery mess. So just take your time, push in, click, hear that click, and then pull out gingerly, please. All right, now we have the cold pad set up. The thing about this machine is you have to have cold therapy set up and the DVTs before we can turn the machine on. It is like a small computer that you get to take home. So we want to make sure that everything's running. Okay, these are the calf pads. They will come rolled up like this. And I will show you how to put those on after we get everything hooked up. There's two cords. There's a left and a right. So, blue, royal blue into red, one and two. These other black circles here, those are all screws, so you won't be able to put anything into there. So you do two designated areas for those calf cuffs. Okay. After you get that set up, then you go with your power cord. Power cord. This is going to be set up here. Plug that in. You'll have to make sure that these calf cuffs are placed on your person before you turn this machine on um, because it reads um, how much air is hitting the back of your tissue. So we start at the bottom of our calf to the top. So I will demonstrate one of these for you. 
I have smaller legs so I fold mine over because we want it to be very tight back here. So this is the bottom of the pad, the back. There'll be three pillows of air that are gonna be coming up and down. To put those on, you wanna get a good grip. You don't wanna have more than three fingers. This is a pretty good fit right here. Two fingers when you put this on because these pillows are gonna in inflate to about here. That's getting that push on your back of your calf. If your three fing fingers are more and this is sliding up and down, it's defeating the purpose of having a DVT pad and blocking those DVTs. So make sure that you have that on properly. Okay, after you get everything hooked up, the hoses, and then the pad into the hose, it'll look like this. Plastic side is gonna go towards your body and the fuzzy side goes on the outside. And how we set that up is we put it over the knee, hose is going down, right over that calf cuff. Looks like this. You'll have these two elastic straps and you'll just put those around. This is how it hooks up. One on the top. One on the bottom. And then you're set. So when you're using the CPM at the same time you're using this, this covers that whole incision. So when it's bending, that whole knee is encompassed with cold therapy. Okay, after we're done with the calf cups, then we can go on to the power. There is a rocker switch back here, the on off switch on the side, just above your power cord. We're going to turn that on. This is like a mini computer, so it will take some time to boot up. And after it gets booted up, it has a start button, a help button, and a next button. Really to use this machine properly, if you just use the start stop button as directed, it's gonna be pretty darn easy for you. As you can see, the screen pops up. We have compression off, and that's why we're, we're not using compression because we're actually using a DVT machine. Here's the coolant temperature, 43 degrees, completely safe for your tissues. It has a two hour timer. So every two hours it's going to shut off for 20 to 30 minutes to give the motor a break and your tissue some time off. So in order to go here, as you can see, it's saying the left is inflating and then when it switches to the right, it will inflate as well. So at this point, you're just going to run it for the two hours. It will turn off and turn on. And then um, after when you need to get up, you can hit the stop button. After you hit that stop button, Make sure before you get up and go anywhere else, you take off these calf cuffs. Make sure they're free of your body and the cold therapy before you get up and get reach for your walker. If you see this indicator right here, it just means low fluid as we discussed. So you're gonna hit accept. That's gonna go back. And then what we will do is open up the container here this is what this extra bottle is for. Just refill. Make sure it doesn't overflow. That's really just like that. Reseal it. And the machine will continue to go as, as prescribed. So occasionally there are error codes. Not everyone's everything runs as followed every single time. So when you get an error code, it's gonna show up on this touch screen. It's either gonna say low fluid or uh, content low. Also, if you don't have your calf cuffs plugged in properly, it will pop up. It will say most times, the first error code will be a calf cuffs not inflating. And the second one will be um, mercury's per minute are measured. So that means first thing, if calf cuffs aren't inflating, check your lines, make sure you are plugged in and make sure both of them are plugged in because if you only plug in one the other one may not work it's very picky it wants to have both calf cuffs in second thing is if it's coming up mercury's per minute are not reading it means that your calf cuff isn't tight enough and it's not getting enough pressure on the back tissue um, so you might want to go back and redo that calf cuff um, coolant so the three major air codes are the coolant is low, 
calf cuffs aren't inflating or the calf cuff isn't tight enough. 